social media has made itself to the core of our lives. It's our constant companion, escape from reality, a virtual stage for likes and validation. But this seemingly harmless activity is as addictive as devices they warn us against. Notifications, likes, new followers ignite a spark of dopamine in our brains, urging us to keep scrolling, clicking, consuming. Social media companies have mastered this addictive formula, crafting platforms that makes us to stay longer. I too was trapped in this digital dance, a slave consuming hours mindlessly. My screen time peaked to an all-time four hours daily. It became an escape, where the cool kids hung out, where life seemed to unfold with endless excitement, and time didn't go by. Deep down, I knew the price, cost in lost time, missed opportunities, and dependency. Curious and determined, I wanted to regain my freedom and discover what lay beyond the virtual wall. So, I deleted social media. And it's been 365 days. A journey of discovery, facing withdrawal, FOMO, and the impulse to return. But sometimes, it takes stepping back to truly see the picture, to reclaim control of our lives, and to find what truly matters in the chaos of the digital age. Good morning. This is, well, not so good actually. <laughs> this is usually the point where I just grab my phone and I literally just scroll and check what's up, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, everything. But yeah, well, yesterday I deleted social media and um, today I don't have anything, feels weird. So I would usually just sit now in my coffee and with my phone and then just scroll, just scroll. But not today. I guess I'll have to do something different. Yeah, something different. We'll see how that feels. Let's make coffee. And so it began. That was my first day. The day I decided to quit social media, the day where I was planning on breaking free from my addiction. A weird, empty day, actually. Like when you come back from holidays or when reality hits you, actually. It felt empty, but it was empty in a good way. It was, it was a good, empty, relieving way, which I actually couldn't explain at that time. Today's... Uh... Day seven, and to be honest, I feel good. The first few days were quite weird, just because yeah, I didn't know how or what to do even, but I actually found myself doing things outside. I went, uh, I don't know, reading, I went uh, doing things with friends, I went for more walks, uh, and I actually decreased my screen time quite a lot. I don't know if you can see, but it's just 52 minutes average for last week, which is four times less than I used to, so that's actually quite cool. So, yeah, I'm halfway through it, uh, through this, well, not halfway, but yeah, one week. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. When the first week was over, I felt like Mario when you finish the level and this flag slides down felt like on top of the world. I had so much time in my hands, it was crazy and new to me actually. It was at that point I started doing more courses, hanging out with friends, doing more sports, living actually. So this is it. Today's day 31 and man, I don't know if I want this. Like, do I want to delete social media forever? Like, am I gonna be able to see what my friends are up to? I need to start all over again if I want to, like, download it. But on the other hand, I feel so relieved without it. Like, I feel so myself. I stopped comparing myself to other people. I realized that my relationship improved. Like, there's a sense of further trust with each other. Like, I don't want to be with anyone else. No, no, there's no internet person that can get better, can be better than what I have with my current girlfriend. And what I have is the best I have. No one can and will never replace that. And I think uh, this month helped me to realize that. 
So this was it. This was 31 days. Uh, the point of no return, actually, because after 31 days, Meta deletes all your data, the data that you have, all the pictures, everything. They don't store it for more than 31 days. It was the point where I could continue or I could stop. The point where I could be free or continue being a slave. I have to say, I doubted for a while whether I wanted to continue. I doubted whether I wanted to delete it forever and actually escape from this slavery, let's say. But I decided that, yeah, I did want it to. So I continued. I didn't download it, I didn't log in, which is the thing you need to do. And then that was it, actually. Yeah, that was it. But it was actually not all chocolate and roses, you know, because I actually doubted quite a few times. And after posting this video, I actually downloaded TikTok. I thought that I was not growing as a creator because of not having social media. So I downloaded TikTok, I created a bunch of TikToks, I uploaded them for one week, and I had that condition. I was only gonna upload, not consume. And so I did, I just uploaded, not consumed. But there was a point that after five days that I felt like I was betraying myself. Like I was not being the person that, not standing up for my values, you know? So I deleted it and after five days of actually not using, even just posting, I went back to not using it ever again. And here's where I'm at, not having social media. So actually, these are the benefits after one year. The first one, it actually improved my mental health and in a way that I've never thought it would be possible. Just because I'm not exposed to the constant influence of things online or the constant overstimulation from social media and comparison, I feel less stress. Well, I feel, still feel stress, but for other reasons. And um, yeah, probably the best decision for my mental health I've ever experienced just more freeing overall. Now my productivity also improved quite a lot. Without the distraction of having social media, I'm able to concentrate on different tasks or on the same task without getting the distractions that the notifications from social media give you. Which in hindsight actually improved my personal relationships. My, I'm able to enjoy more, yeah, how I spend my time offline with relationships like friends, my partner, etc. We're actually a, a better couple, I would say, without the constant feeling of the constant comparison out there. And I have to say, I sleep better. Just believe me, yeah, I sleep better. And actually also my creativity increased quite a lot in a certain way that I'm not constantly looking to what's out there online, I'm able to be more creative, not only with my time, but with the things I put out there on YouTube, for example. I still watch YouTube, I still enjoy it, but for some reason, I'm less stuck behind the screen, which in hindsight increases my productivity. Wait, I'm getting the call. While he picks up the phone, let me tell you mm -hmm. about another yeah, one that okay. I found. It no. improved my self-esteem because I'm not comparing myself all the time with people online. Like, online people post the best of the best, the top 1%. Now, if you go to real life, if you go outside to the streets, you don't really see these people produce or you see normal people outside on the streets, let's be honest. Let's see more of uh, how anyone looks like. So, yeah, that's another benefit. Sorry, I had to pick up. Well, where was I? Now, I have less of an informational overload, which is quite nice when you're constantly bombarded by information on social media, things that you don't want to hear, like things that get pushed towards you on the Discover page, on the For You page, on whatever page. So that, in hindsight, helps you with your mental clarity. And last but not least, I live more in the present, so I'm able to enjoy more the present. I'm still working on it, I'm not good at it, I'm always constantly thinking about what's next, what am I gonna do, where's my career heading towards, I wanna live in a van type of 
thoughts, but without social media, I'm able to live more presently, enjoy my conversation with my friends, my partner, and a wishful thought for the future. Now, on the other hand, there are some negative things that, yeah, they're not that nice of not having social media in one second. Now, there are some bad things, as I mentioned. I'm just moving place to be more, more real. And I think it's that I actually feel like I'm less connected with my friends for a certain reason. I feel like I'm missing part of their lives because they just sharing on social media. I have this one friend traveling around the world and I feel like I haven't seen that much from him or haven't connected that much in such a long time. And I feel if I had social media, I would be able to see it more. Same with my nieces, they're growing old and I'm just home here and I feel like I'm not being able to see them grow more because yeah, my sisters post everything online, but I'm not being able to be there more present and see their lives. On the other hand, that's life. And uh, yeah, before you will have to send letters to know how everyone was doing and receive pictures every now and then. I also feel like I am not able to grow as a creator more because of not having social media. If I would have TikTok, shorts, whatever, it would grow more my YouTube channel, for example, or me as a creator. However, that's against my value. So in a certain way, a shortened tension span doesn't help with me and my values. So I'd rather create long form content. And last but not least, networking. I feel like I would be connected to more creators if I would have social media. And without having social media, I feel like I'm stuck with people's emails and maybe getting their numbers, hopefully, for a stranger. Now, the big question is, will I continue not having social media? And the answer is, yes, I won't continue having social media just because it goes against my values, what I think, and I feel so much better because the benefits outweigh the cons of not having, yeah, living online, life online. I do have to address the elephant in the room. I do think YouTube may be a social media, but it's a different type of social media where content lives forever, where you can spread a message and after you're gone or after a few years that message lives forever on the platform while on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, that message dies. And I want my message to be spread forever and not just get stuck in a one week algorithm. So yeah, if you're thinking of leaving social media, I think this is your sign to do so and go out and enjoy life and live a happy life and stop comparing yourself to other people. Trust me, give it a try, give it a one week try, then a month one try. And if you want me to explain a little bit more how you can do it, I'll make another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe.